Hello YouTubers, this is Bob Hickman. It is so good to be back with all of you. Well, I'm so glad you guys joined my Saturday night party. I hope you had a great time. If you're just tuning in and you haven't seen it, check the video before this and you can party on. You know, it doesn't have to just be Saturday. We can party Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, around the clock here. Anyways, I've been uh, wanting to come here and talk to you today. I've been getting a lot of letters uh, asking me about the big power outage. Now, you know, a few days ago there was a big outage all across Arizona and Southern California. Entire power grids went down. And a lot of people are saying, Bob, what happened? Was there an, actually an earthquake that's not reported? Or what's happening? Was it a cyber attack by a foreign government? There are a lot of rumors floating around. But um, actually, I have um, received information that there is actually something much larger uh, going on in that area. Now, you know, the official statement is that it's really just, uh, you know, they were working on something and a part got messed up, the power went down. Yeah, that's the official explanation. I'm telling you, as a psychic, uh, the reason that there was this massive power outage, I do believe, is connected to UFO activity. Uh, there have been a number of sightings over uh, Arizona in the last two weeks. And actually on August 29th, there was a very large sighting of a massive craft that passed over the state. Didn't get a lot of news coverage, uh, but I'll try to put a link down here and you can look at that. But, uh, you know, it's interesting because if you study the UFO phenomena, whenever there is a sighting, there's also electrical disturbances that usually follow that sighting. And it is my belief that the electrical issues that occurred are connected to UFO activity. Now, as we get closer to 2012, we're going to start to see more of this. Because as I have said, and I predicted in my book a few years ago, my book, When Worlds Unite, I said, as we get closer to 2012, there's going to be a lot more UFO activity. I mean, the truth is that though there are people visiting the Earth from other worlds. It's not, a, it's not a, such a secret anymore. Now, officially, all the governments are saying, oh, well, that doesn't exist. That's not real. But I tell you, if you can do some research, you'll find out this is a lot more uh, prevalent than, than you realize. Um, Anyways, I want you to check out, put some links below. There's a great uh, site called ufoevidence.org, uh, and they do a lot of studies. I've reported with them uh, stuff I've seen. And if you study it, you're going to notice that there's an increase here, just as I predicted, and it's now starting to manifest. So for those of you who are my viewers in Arizona and also in California, uh, first of all, I'm sorry about uh, you know everything you went through. I hope all of you are okay with the power outage. I know for many people, especially the elderly and the ill, you know the power outage can be a real crisis. So um, it's not something we take lightly. Now, some of you are going to say, Bob, are the UFOs trying to wipe us out? Are they trying to attack us? No, no, no. What's happening is it's it's what I would call a clash of technologies. The aliens, you know, with propulsion systems, their UFOs, they have kind of a very strange electrical system. I don't think it's literally like uh, anything we know of. And uh, I feel that there is going to be kind of what we call a little bit of a culture clash. Because when their ships come into the vicinity of our communities, uh, the electrical currents get shorted out. And it's not intentional. The aliens are not here to harm us or to take us over. But I do believe that this is just kind of a byproduct of literally alien visitation. So anyways, for those of you guys who have been affected by it, uh, you know, as a psychic, I'm not seeing any, any future, um, you know, crises of that sort in the immediate future. So, but I do believe we'll continue to experience this uh, perhaps on a smaller scale. You know, we may start seeing more regular, like a block of, uh, you know, houses loses power more regularly. Cars tend to stall out a lot of times in the presence of these alien craft as well. Um, and this is all, these are all signs. They're signs that uh, we're going to eventually, uh, and hopefully, I hope, soon have alien contact. 
And uh, I think that uh, when we meet our space brothers, we'll understand that they're not here to hurt us. They're just here to learn as we're trying to learn. And, you know, the worlds, you know, as I say in my book, when worlds unite, uh, that's really the goal here, to have our worlds and their worlds unite, and we can learn from each other. <clears throat> you know, some of you said, well, you know, Bob, the aliens are so advanced. What could they possibly learn from us? Well, while it's true we may not be as technologically advanced as them, we have a lot of spiritual gifts, you know. Um, our understanding of the soul is much more advanced from what I understand than theirs. So they can learn spiritual truths from us that will help them, and we can learn technological truths from them. So you see, the exchange of knowledge and understanding and the way we do things in our different worlds can really be, a, you know, can be a wonderful experience. So I, for one, uh, am looking forward to when we will have that contact. So, anyways, not to worry. Uh, there's no further danger. You know, um, I do think the power grid, especially the size, is very indicative of increased UFO activity. Okay. So, anyways, guys, I just want to bring those thoughts to you, and uh, you know, give me thumbs up here if you like this. Put some comments in the box below, and uh, let's have a discussion. Thanks so much for being here at Spirit Channel. Keep it here, guys, because you know we'll have more videos coming in the coming days. Blessings to all of you. Thank you so much.